Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I just want to thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. This is look number three with the Jacqueline Tales Favorites palette and I am doing 10 looks like I said this is number three and I have number four filled so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. First off, again with the Jaclyn Hills Favor Palette, I'm taking this soft warm brown shade and I'm just going to apply that very lightly on the crease. Next, taking the shimmery color on the corner of the palette, I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. Moving on for another warm dark brown, I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye in a circular motion and I'm going to drag that across the crease and I'm also going to apply that color in the inner corner of my eye creating a halo effect. As you can see I'm leaving the center of the lid plain because we're going to apply our shadow there. Applying this very beautiful pink strong shadow I'm going to apply that on the center of my lid where I left that white off or where I left the uh, where I left the lid cleaned off and I'm just going to apply that on the center of the eye. Next going back with the shimmery shade I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye and this is just to even out my highlight and going back with the same pink I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. This will balance out all the look and will even the colors out. Moving on back on that brown shade I'm going to apply that underneath my lash line as well on top of the pink and this is just to add some warmth and to even out the colors the same thing I'm doing from the top part to the bottom part of my eye moving on with the 204 lashes these are by Ardell I'm going to apply those lashes on these are one of my favorite lashes by the way definitely recommend them they're perfect I love how long and beautiful they are Once the lashes are, are, are on, I'm going to apply that pink shade again under my eye just to intense that color out a little bit more. And with mascara, I'm going to set and blend my false lashes with my real lashes and I'm going to switch to a smaller wand and I'm also going to coat my bottom lashes. This is going to make the look complete and it's going to finish our eyes. Taking any black liner, anything will work. I'm going to um, put this liner on my bottom waterline and I'm also going to tight line my upper lash line. This is going to make my bottom waterline stand out more and I do this on my upper waterline so it makes my uh, lashes appear thicker, especially that I'm wearing falsies. And that is it for the guys. Super easy. Yay. Moving on to the face, taking Kat Von D light palette and I'm taking this light shade here called Shadow Plate and I'm just going to lightly apply that on the hollows of my cheeks, the sides of my forehead, on my forehead and I'm also going to run that along my, my nose and this is just going to give me some color and it's going to give me some more structure to my face. Um, I'm also going to quickly contour with that same palette, a uh, more strong defined contour. You don't have to do this for every day, you can use the first shade just like that, but I want more strong contour. So I'm going to be taking Sombre, which is the corner shade right there, and as you can see, it makes that really sharp cheeks, and it makes everything just blend together, and it's gonna make my face more defined, more sharp, and it's gonna give a lot more structure to my face, and it's gonna accentuate all of my features. I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blend so I don't look like a clown or, or cake face. So just make sure you blend, blend, blend. Next, taking a very, very, very soft pink um, blush. I'm going to apply that very lightly on my face because I have so much pink on my eyes. I don't want to overdo it with the blush. Moving on to highlight, taking MAC Light Escapade. And I'm going to apply that with a tiny fan brush. And I'm just going to apply this color where my light, where the light naturally reflects my face so which is which are the highest points of my cheeks on my forehead 
not on my forehead on my on the top of my um, nose and on my cupid's bow this is going to accentuate the light hitting our face and it's gonna bring those parts of our face forward for the lips today I'm using Bodley Bodley I can't pronounce that Bodley bear bear by Mac and I'm just going to line my lips and for uh, lipstick I'm using myth and I'm just going to apply that myth on the center of my lips and I'm just going to concentrate like I said on the center and this is gonna make the illusion of my lips to appear larger and I'm just nicely blending it out with my finger for a more more of a smooth look and more natural as you can see it really makes your lips make, look fuller and pop very nice um, and this is it for the look guys I really hope you enjoy and uh, thank you so much for watching I will see you on my fourth video bye, bye.